Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K Facebook Live. And today I'm going to show you a card that I made with some new goodies from the upcoming mini catalog. So these are items from the January to June 2021 mini catalog. Uh, it's a new stamp set bundle called Daffodil Daydream. And then I used a little bit of designer series paper that is from the uh, celebration catalog, which are celebration brochure. Um, and that will be running from January through February, January 4th through February, the end of February of 2022. Um, so lots of new little things here that I'm, I'm showing you and um, so this is the card we're going to be making today. It's really pretty easy. Um, just a little layering, a little die cutting, uh, a little bit of embossing, a little coloring and the coloring is actually super simple on this one. You know, I'm not a really good, you know, like detailed color or colorist, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I just put a little color on it and call it good. So definitely um, one of my favorite stamp set bundles from the new catalog. So lots of fun new things. Hey, Karen and Karen and Bree and Flo, thanks for hopping in today. I appreciate all joining me. So, all right. So this is the stamp set. Uh, it's called Daffodil Daydream. And again, it is from the upcoming January to June 2022 mini catalog. And um, you'll be able to get it beginning on January 4th as a customer. If you join as a demonstrator, you actually can pre-order this starting tomorrow. So that's definitely your best bet. <laughs> I'm just going to say. Um, and we've got a joining special going on through the end of the day today. So today might be a good job or a good day to join and then be able to get all these fun new things in your pre-order tomorrow. So, all right, so this is the stamp set. Uh, again, some beautiful flowers, butterfly, a little border die, kind of a little splattery look, and then a couple of nice sentiments in it. Um, I actually switched this to a birthday card rather than a Mother's Day or Easter since we're kind of a little ways away from those yet, uh, but I'm always in need of birthday cards. All right, there is a coordinating die set that goes with this, and it's a pretty good sized die set. So again, this is bundled together uh, to save 10% in the upcoming mini catalog. Hey, Marilyn, thanks for hopping on. And Jeannie, I'm glad you're here as well. And um, yeah, the car the paper, the coordinating paper from the celebration brochure for the it's called Daffodil Afternoon. It is beautiful. It's on my blog today, or some of the paper is, and uh, which is stampwithamyk.com. So take a peek out there if you haven't seen it. Um, you can see some new paper as well, and it's free. It's free paper for celebration. All right, so this is the die set. Um, this big die. Uh, this butterfly die and this die actually cut out the images here in the stamp set and then the rest of these dies are actually layering die pieces die cut pieces die yeah die cut pieces whatever layering dies I guess is what I should call them um, that don't cut out any stamped images but they do cut out images that you can layer together so um, there's this one that layers with this die cut so these two layer and you can do it same colors, similar colors, totally different colors, however you want to layer things up. And then there are these two that are going to layer together as well. One cuts a little more detail than the other one is more solid. So those layer together quite nicely. Um, there is another layering piece here, and that is this one. And these layer together um, just for a little different look on the, the daffodil. So this is going to be more of like a side-facing daffodil as opposed to the front-facing one with that. Um, so those layer together really nicely, and I can't wait to play with these dies some more um, there's also one that is like a long narrow I think this is the one that you put together for the yep for the long narrow um, so it looks like a bud a daffodil bud for, with that one and then these two pieces lay to layer together as well and you can add them in kind of under the more um, solid pieces here and just have another layer underneath so it's really cool it's a great die set um and it, again it's going to be available beginning on january 4th for customers to order oops i better put these over here so um thanks sherry i appreciate that all right so that is the daffodil daydream stamp set couple of other fun things that I used on this. I used the new Hive 3D embossing folder, and this one is really cool. <laughs> it's another really good embossing folder, and it's one of the, the 3D ones, so it's a little thicker. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to see it a little bit better when I actually have the embossed piece in front of you, but this is a cool embossing folder. Again, this is going to be available in the new mini catalog starting on January 4th. Um, I did use one of the, uh, a couple of the sentiments from the Pansy Patch stamp set, and this is one that is in the current annual catalog. So I used the birthday sentiment and then the wishing you a little extra happiness uh, for the inside of the card. Um, so that stamp set we used as well. And then yeah, apparently I got a little carried away on the layering on this one. Shocking, I know. <laughs> 
So I use the um, scalloped contours dies. So this smallest of the rectangles here, I used to cut out the sentiment on the card. And then I also did a little layering with the largest of the stitched rectangle dies. And that's what I used to cut out um, the designer series paper on the background panel. All right, so those are all the die sets that I used and the stamp sets and all the goodies. And, you know, we'll get busy making the card here in a second. A couple things I wanted to remind you about. I already talked briefly about the joining promotion that Stampin' Up! has going on right now. If you're not a demonstrator, this is like the best time to join. It's awesome. It's one of the better deals I think we've ever had. You get the kit at a discounted price of $75. You still get to pick $125 worth of Stampin' Up! merchandise, whatever it is that you would choose. Um, can be anything. And uh, so you get that $125 worth of merchandise, a free paper pumpkin kit. You get free shipping on your starter kit. You're going to get a box of catalogs. Um, you're going to get a few business supplies, and you can do what you want with those if you don't want to do this as, as a business. And then after that, you get a 20% discount on everything that you order. And on top of that, the pre-order for the new mini starts tomorrow, um, and you can pre-order and pre-earn celebration items. So I'm just saying today is an excellent day to join. <laughs> So if you have questions about that, let me know. But again, depending on when you're watching this video, um, this celebration or the um, the joining special ends on the 30th of November, which is Tuesday. So if you're watching this Wednesday, you're too late. But it's still a good time to join because then you get to put the pre-order items in your starter kit. So yay. All right. Um, oh, Debbie says that she's got the embossing folder but I haven't used it yet. This is the first card I used it on. I love it. It's very pretty. <laughs> so, all right. Um, one of the things starting tomorrow, the Last Chance products uh, will be available from the current July to December 2021 mini catalog. Anything that is retiring, and it's kind of a lot of the catalog items, um, are going to be available at Last Chance. Um, everything right now actually is already while supplies last. So make sure you're getting your last few items ordered. There are a handful of items from the catalog that are going to be on sale. Um, so go take a pic uh, peek at that. Um, again, it's posted on my blog, which is stampwithamyk.com, and it'll be linked up in my blog post with this card project as well, so you'll be able to find it out there. Um, couple things a lot of the die sets are on sale so take a look at those before you purchase the bundle look at the dies and see whether they're going to be on sale because some of the die and stamp sets if you purchase them separately are going to be less expensive than the bundles tomorrow so starting tomorrow i should say december 1st uh last thing eden's garden if you haven't seen it go take a peek again the details are on my blog this is a pre-release pre item from the upcoming January to June 2022 mini catalog um, that Stampin' Up! has available for us. So the bundle in the bundle pricing, um, the stamp set and dies are going to be available in the next mini catalog. Um, we've got some things that are only available while supplies last through January 3rd, which is the Ever Eden Beautiful Specialty Designer Series paper, um, the Ever Eden Cotton paper, and the Garden Gems. So if those are items you're wanting, make sure you're getting those ordered right away. Um, you can also order it as the full collection if you want to or you can order items individually so however it works best for you works for me so all right so let's get started um, my original card I actually have my top fold card which is four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half across the top um, but this also works with your standard card base so I did one this card base is cut to five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter and so this is so saffron, which I don't know what color it looks like on the screen. Hopefully it looks like so saffron. It looks a little um, brighter in the when I'm looking at it on my phone. And then I went ahead um, and pre-embossed a piece of so saffron cardstock, and I'm going to hold it kind of still so hopefully you can see it with the Hive 3D embossing folder. I love it. Okay, I love it. <laughs> hey Mary, thanks for hopping in today. All right, so this is cut to four and a quarter by or, I'm sorry, four inches by five and a quarter. And again, all the details are going to be posted on my blog tomorrow, so please don't worry about writing down any of the um, information. I'll also link up the blog post in the video description, so you'll be able to find it easily tomorrow once the blog post goes live around 8 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just using a little stamp and seal, and I'm going to put this on at a bit of an angle. The only thing, you know, there's no special way to put it on. Just want to make sure that it stays on the card front. Um, so make sure you're keeping an eye on where your... Um, score line is and keeping an eye on the edges and that's all just going to adhere that together again with a little stamp and seal if you prefer liquid glue you can definitely do that but it's at a little bit of an angle not a way away big angle all right next up i pre-cut with the largest of these stitched rectangle dies a piece of this is sunshine and rainbows 
six by six designer series paper, which is a free item again from Celebration. It's a cute little six by six pack, 48 sheets, uh, love it. Um, but I pre-cut this as well as a piece of soft seafoam cardstock uh, with um, the largest of the stitched rectangle dies. Sorry, I forgot which dies that I used on that. And I'm just gonna adhere the two together. The only reason I'm doing this is because I'm actually putting the um, DSP panel I'm wrapping uh, linen thread around it and I'm gonna put it up on dimensionals. So normally if I don't do that, I just stuck my fingers in the glue, not once, but twice. <laughs> so this is why I don't use liquid glue because I'm a mess. So um, the reason why I am doing this and layering them one on top of the other is just to give my designer paper a little bit extra um, as far as strength goes. Sometimes if you wrap linen thread around it and then put it up on dimensionals, um, the, the designer series paper is a little thinner so it doesn't hold up as well to a lot of, um, I don't know, bending and flexing and that sort of thing. So, hey Terry, thanks for hopping in. Just in time to see me stick my fingers in the glue. <laughs> So, all right, let me set this aside before I put my fingers in something else that I shouldn't. And now they're sticky and I just hate that. Eek. All right, so let's do a little stamping. I have got, um, I did one ahead of time just because it's the same exact process that I used to color it. And I figured you didn't need to sit and watch me color it two times because, you know, that'd be boring. All right, so I've got Tuxedo Black Memento Ink, basic white cardstock. And then I have the um, daffodil image from the... Uh, Daffodil Daydream stamp set. I almost forgot the name of it. I was going to call it Daffodil Delight, and I knew that wasn't right. So Daffodil Daydreams stamp set. Again, this is from the upcoming mini catalog that will be available for customers to order beginning on January 4th. Or, like I said, if you join, you can pre-order it starting tomorrow. <laughs> so it's a good one. All right, just going to stamp this here uh, again on the basic white cardstock and hold it for a second. Looks like I got a relatively decent image, so I'm going to set that aside, and then I'm going to stamp two of the little butterflies. Again, these are from the Daffodil Daydreams stamp set. Again, just stamping them in Tuxedo Black Memento ink on the basic white cardstock. And then we're going to do some coloring. Again, it's pretty basic and kind of scratchy coloring, which is my favorite kind to do. All right, I have got some blends here. So I'm gonna start with soft sea foam. Those, that's what I colored the stems with. So I'm gonna start with the light soft sea foam and I'm using the bullet tip on this just because it's a little narrower and um, a little easier to sort of control and see where you're coloring with it. So I'm just gonna use that. And again, I'm not even coloring it really very nicely. I'm just sort of scratching the color on it. Um, because again, this is a little bit uh, kind of of an artsy image and not really like solid and I don't feel like it needs to be colored super, super nicely. It's just a matter of getting the color on it. And so this is exactly how I colored <laughs> actually um, both of these images. Just added a little bit of the light, came back in. It is a pretty stamp set, isn't it, Karen? It's one of my favorites. So, And then here I've got the dark soft sea foam. I'm gonna come back in here. I know I'm gonna be using it a ton. I mean, I, don't, I do love daffodils. I think they're pretty. So gonna come back in here and add a little bit of dark soft sea foam, just kind of along the edges and anywhere where I think there might be a little, a little bit of a shadow, but again, you know, not really spending a lot of time blending and worrying about exactly how the color is getting on here. Just mostly getting the color on the paper. And I think we're gonna call that good for the stems, although I may come back here and just blend just a touch on this one. I see kind of a harsh line on there that I'm not loving. So um, you can always come back in and color over like I'm doing right now if you see something you don't love and call it good. All right, now to the flowers. I started with um, light so saffron. So I'm gonna use the uh, brush end on this one because it's a little bit bigger image. You can definitely use the bullet end if you prefer that and that's your favorite way to color. Um, but again, I am just basically adding color on, and I don't want to say slapping it on, but I kind of am. <laughs> I'm not coloring it really nicely, not spending a lot of time, you know, making it look perfect, just kind of tracing around the edges, adding a little line down the middle. Same thing on the flower top. And I'm going to do this one here. Just adding a little color. Color the final one. Again, just... Um, adding a little color. If this was something where I was gonna spend a lot of time blending on it, I probably would color each flower individually and add the dark um, so saffron blends with it. But since I'm really not, 
Um, this isn't one of those that I feel like I need to spend a lot of extra time, you know, blending things together and um, making it look all perfect. Uh, again, I'm just going to kind of scratch on. This is dark so saffron. Just coming back in, adding a little bit of dark around the edges. Um, but again, if I were really wanting to blend this and have it look, you know, perfectly blended, I would color each flower individually with the light and then add the dark and then come back and do any blending that I was going to do with the light. But like I said, I feel like, you know, just it, they blend a little bit easier and a little bit faster if you um, color the smaller in smaller sections. But, you know, I think this image doesn't really require a lot of detailed blending. So I'm just coming in now. I've got dark pale papaya. Just going to come in and add in kind of in the similar areas to where I added my dark so saffron. Again, just right around the bottom, adding a little bit over the petals and then a little bit down in the flower center. And if I end up with anything, that, again, that I don't love, have anything that's too dark, that, you know, whatever, then I can come in with the light so saffron and kind of blend things together. This middle flower to me has got a couple of areas on it where I think I want to do a little bit of blending. And I'll again, just taking my light so saffron and coming in and doing a little bit of blending, pulling the colors together a little bit. Um, but that's kind of it for the coloring on this. It's not, not super detailed which I love. <laughs> so that makes it easy. Um, it doesn't have to look perfect and um, you can get it done pretty quickly. So, all right, the two butterflies, I actually used light and dark um, uh, flirty flamingo. I don't know why I couldn't come up with that name. So again, I'm taking the bullet tip just because I'm gonna be doing a kind of small area and I'm taking the light and I'm coloring in the inside part of the wing on both butterflies. So super, super simple. All right, there we go. Adding a little color on that one. And then I did my other flower ahead of time. So I've just got the two butterflies here left to color. All right, and then I'm gonna take my dark flirty flamingo and come in around the edges. And if you accidentally go out of the lines or color somewhere that you don't necessarily want to be, you can just take your color lifter and um, push the ink right back inside the lines. Um, so far, I haven't made too many boo-boos on this one. I'm not seeing too much where I'm coloring out of the line. Although I am getting to that age where sometimes I don't always see everything like I should. <laughs> I actually am going to the eye doctor and finally I need to get some new glasses. So that'll be, I think, next week I've got my appointment scheduled. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of die cutting here. So I have got, again, these are the daffodil dies and they're bundled together with the stamp set uh, in the next mini catalog. So I've got this die that's gonna cut out the larger butter, or larger daffodil. And then we've got the little butterfly die that's gonna cut out my two little butterflies. So I'm gonna run this through the uh, die cutting machine over here off to my right hand side. I see the laughing marks. You all know what I mean by not being able to see exactly as well as you should be able to. <laughs> so, all right. So let me uh, do some die cutting here. And believe it or not, it is snowing here in New Jersey today. Um, the weather's not, it's not freezing cold, so it's not really sticking. But I was a little shocked when I looked out and it's snowing and kind of snowing a lot here. I don't know how it is where you are, Karen, but we have more snow considering we weren't really supposed to get any today. I looked out and was like, oh, well, evidently the uh, forecast people were not quite right. <laughs> so... Yeah, Karen says she knows exactly what I mean. Yeah, it's knowing where you are. Okay, so it's not just up here. I know sometimes, even though we only live like a half an hour apart, we get totally different weather stuff. All right, so we've got the flowers die cut and one of the butterflies, and I just need to run the butterfly back through the die cutting machine a second time, and we'll be done with that part. So, a couple of flurries up there, and that's all. I mean, it, like I said, I can't really say that it's sticking here, but it's kind of been snowing for the last hour or so down here, so. And I know you're quite a bit north of where we are, so. I figured you guys would be covered in snow right now. All right. Sunny, oh, 73, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we live in New Jersey, we can't help it. All right. Okay, so let's get back to the card front after all my coloring and my yapping. All right, so I did this one ahead of time. Again, I used the exact same colors on it. I used the soft sea foam and then the, the um, so saffron and uh, pale papaya on it. And we're just gonna layer these onto this panel that we've done ahead of time stuck together. And 
uh, yes, definitely it's a good kind of snow when it doesn't stick. So, oh, you had some snow on Black Friday, but not today. All right. We we had a couple little flurries over the weekend. I don't remember which day it was on because, I don't know, all the days kind of mush into one for me. But um, we had a little bit, but again, it was nothing of any kind of substance that stuck around. So, although I know that's coming. Ugh. All right. All right. So I just took a couple little glue dots and I stuck them on the back of the screen. You sent the snow home with your daughter. Oh, see? <laughs> we Don't invite her back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So I stuck that on with a couple glue dots. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with the um, flower that I cut and colored ahead of time. So again, just taking a couple little glue dots, sticking them on the back. And then I'm just going to layer it over the top of the other flower. I want the, the three on the back to sort of peek out, but they don't need to be all the way uncovered. And just going to add the, that over the top. Then I'm going to take my two butterflies and we're going to stick those to the card front as well. So I'm going to take one and I'm going to kind of tuck it in. I think I'll tuck it maybe right up here. I can't remember exactly how I had it on the card front. So, hey Pam, thanks so much. I appreciate that. So, and then take my second butterfly and we're going to tuck that one in, I think, right in. You will do... You know, I think this one I had in a different place before. I feel like I had it up higher. I think I like that a little better. All right, so we are going to do that. Let me get the glue dots out of the way here. All right, so that is, whoops, I got it right off the screen. So that is the mostly for the card front here. I'm just going to put a little bit of linen thread, wrap it twice around this um, cardstock panel. And then we're going to tie a bow. If I can find my scissors to cut this. So, all right, there we go. Oh, thanks, Karen. I'm glad you like it. It's a fun little card, and it's such a pretty stamp set. I love it. So um, tying a bow here. I start usually when I'm using the, the baker's twine or linen thread. I start usually by tying a knot. That sort of gives me a good base where things aren't moving around, and I don't feel like I have to have four hands to be able to hold everything. And then I tie my bow over the top of that, and then it gives me a little more, you know, a little more time to wiggle and maneuver things around. I'm going to leave the, the um, ends of it for now. I know that I will be trimming them at some point here, but I want to get the sentiment put on and sort of figure out where everything's going to land before I trim it more than I want it to. And I've got to get these unwound because they're all wound around each other, and I don't love that look, that is for sure. Of course, now that I say I want it to be unwound, they won't go unwound. All right, there we go. Okay, so we've got that done. Um, I went ahead and pre-cut again with one of the scalloped uh, contour dies. It's the smallest little rectangle in here. Pre-cut a piece of basic white cardstock. And I've got the sentiment from the Pansy Patch stamp set. And I'm going to be stamping that in Flirty Flamingo ink. Oh, thanks, Sherry. I appreciate that. So I'm going to stamp it in Flirty Flamingo ink over the die cut. And again, I'm just sort of hoping that I stamp this okay. I did it on my original card and it came out fine. And now that I do it here, I'm like, oh, I hope it's straight. So, yep, I think we got it pretty well straight on there. Close up my ink pad before I stick my fingers in it. And then I'm going to take a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals and we're just going to adhere this to the card front. I'm going to slide my twine or my linen thread over the bow just a, a little. Of course, I say that I will and now I can't. There we go. Um, so that I've got room to put my sentiment on there. And Dimensionals, here we go. I'm going to take a couple of these, and I'm actually going to put my dimensional, one of them, directly on the card front. And then I'm going to put one of them on the back of the sentiment here, like this. And then I'm going to stick it to the card front this way, <laughs> just because I wanted to make sure that I missed the twine or the linen thread and, and um, missed the flowers when I stuck it on there. So that was kind of why I did um, one of them ahead, one of them not ahead, <laughs> just so that I got the... the um, dimensionals hopefully placed in the right spot. If you feel like you need one underneath here, you can always come in and um, just peel the backing off of your dimensional on both sides. And I usually take my paper snips and stick the dimensional to my paper snips and then just sort of lift up where I want it and then stick it down like that. And then you can add dimensionals in pretty easily underneath your sentiment if you don't love the way that it's um, sitting, if you feel like it's too flat somewhere and you want a little bit Come on now, there you go. <laughs> My bow got all wound in itself. So, um, so if you want the, to um, add a dimensional underneath, just take it and stick it on your paper snips and add it in there. All right, I'm going to trim off the ends of my linen thread bow just a little bit because I got a little, little out of hand. 
a little longer than I wanted them to be. And then we're going to adhere that to the card front with some Stampin' Dimensionals. So, oh, I'm glad. Thanks, Debbie. I'm glad you like it. So I, was, I love this die, Stampin' die set. I think it's so pretty, and it's going to be so perfect for all things spring. And I guess I'm already channeling spring now that we're starting to get some snow. So <laughs> it's going to be a long winter, I think. But although I will say the snow kind of held off longer than it did last year. I feel like we had snow much earlier last year, so I can't complain too much. I was still in shorts and a t-shirt on Thanksgiving Day when I went out and did a little stroll. So, all right, now I'm going to take this and put it on the card front, and I'm going to hopefully get it centered and straight. That's kind of what I'm, what I'm aiming for here, whether I'll get that. I don't know. If I do not, I can always... Um, Snip my stamp of dimensionals. So if you, you put your card front together, realize it's not straight or not the way you want it to be, just take your paper snip, slide it between the two layers where your dimensionals are, and just snip the dimensionals in half and then restick it. And that's all you have to do. So you don't have to, if you try to pull it apart like that, you're going to rip it and tear everything up. But if you just snip the dimensionals, then it'll work perfectly. All right, so next up, this is another new item from the upcoming mini catalog. These are called Brushed Brass Butterflies, and hopefully you can see that they are brushed and they are brass, and they are very pretty. Um, so I'm going to add one of those on to the sentiment over here. Just going to stick it next to, um, next to the sentiment, and that's kind of it for the card front. So pretty simple. Some basic coloring, a little embossing, a little layering, and um, done. So super simple, which is how I like it. So, all right, on the inside of the card, um, again, this is basic white cardstock, and I stamped the sentiment from the Pansy Patch stamp set in Flirty Flamingo ink. I don't know how my workspace gets to be like 12 inches by 12 inches by the time I get done, because I have stuff everywhere, <laughs> even though I have a huge table that I'm stamping on. All right, so I've got uh, Flirty Flamingo ink that I'm stamping the sentiment from the Pansy Patch stamp set. All right. And then we're going to stamp one of the little butterflies again in um, Tuxedo Black Memento ink next to the sentiment. Um, did I see the comment? She was wondering if the die cuts any of the DSP. Uh, I did not see that. Thank you for pointing that out, Karen. You know, I don't believe that it does, but I actually haven't tried it. Um, I'll pull it out after we get done here, and I'll see if any of them will work. But I don't, I don't think they do. But I don't want to say for sure because I haven't I haven't tried it. <laughs> so um, if you hold on a second, when we get done here, I can pull out the paper and see what I see with it. So um, all right. So I've got the light and dark flirty flamingo Stampin' Blends markers, and just going to color in the same way I did on the the card front. Put the light in the middle and the dark around the edges. And again, using the bullet tip on this because it's a little, a little more controlled and I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And it's kind of small spaces. All right. There we go. And um, the final thing is to add a little strip that I had trimmed away from the card front. It's about, and I think it's about five eighths of an inch, half an inch, five eighths of an inch, whatever the leftover trimming part is um, from the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. And I will stick that here on the bottom of the panel. So again, this is basic white, just sticking it with a little stamp and seal. And then I'm gonna stick this to the inside of the card with some stamp and seal. And that's gonna be it for our card. So again, if you wanna hold on a second, if you're ready to be done and done listening to me, you feel free to hop off. Um, if you wanna stay on and see if we can find any designer paper that matches the dies, um, I'll, be, I'll do a quick peek for you. So, all right. So let me do a crease with the bone folder on here. And that's it for our two cards. So hold on one second if you're interested and I will grab the, um, uh, a very springy card. Yeah, yeah, it, I know, for the first day of snow. <laughs> so, all right, let me grab the daffodil paper. I assume this is the paper you're asking about. So I'm gonna pull out um, a couple of the sheets of it and we'll see what we see. Okay, this one it does not. Nope. Um, I don't think that it will. No, nope, none of these are gonna match up right. This one is not either. So, so far we're striking out on it. This paper, definitely not. Um, the back is yellow, so nope, not on that one, not on this one, not on the back side of that. Uh, not this one or the back side. And there isn't anything on here. I don't think that it will cut. So let me check the dies just to make sure. 
Nope, I'm not seeing anything on that one that it's gonna die cut and nothing on that one either. And I think those are all the papers in the pack. So no, it doesn't look like the um, dies actually coordinate with the papers with the um, Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. So, but they do coordinate quite nicely with the, the stamped images and um, you can create as many daffodils as you want with all the little die cut pieces. So a nice little die set. So hopefully that answers your question, Flo, and thanks for asking it. And sorry that I missed it earlier. Um, thanks, Karen, for pointing it out. So that is all that I had for y'all today. Um, this is my, you know, the card that, we're, card that I'm going to be sharing on my blog tomorrow. Again, I'll be linking up all the uh, details in the blog post. Um, everything will be out there tomorrow, so you can take a peek at it. Thanks for joining. Don't forget the joining special ends tonight. So if you haven't joined, get on it. Get joining <laughs> and let me know if you have questions. I'd be happy to talk with you more about it. And don't forget, tomorrow is when the um, July to December 2021 mini catalog retiring item sale starts. So hop on that and um, get a few things ordered before everything goes away. So, all right. So thanks so much for joining. I will plan to uh, see you all on Friday over on my YouTube channel around two o'clock Eastern time. And then I will plan to see you back here on Facebook live around two o'clock Eastern time next week, Tuesday. Thanks for joining and we'll chat soon.